Okay, we're gonna start a video that shows you how to update a board, ADV Pro is the one I'm using right now, to firmware 6.05 and to install the refloat package. So the first thing you're gonna do, turn on your board, open up Vestool, this is the latest version of Vestool, and you hit connect. <clears throat> now you see this message that comes up. If you had an older version of Vestool, this doesn't come up. Uh, but the newer version it does. Now you're going to wait till either App UI pops up here at the top. There it is. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to hit Backup Configs. Assuming your board is all currently working the way you want it to work, you're going to hit Backup and all you're doing is updating. So yes, okay. <clears throat> now, you're going to do the firmware first. In the older versions of Vestool, firmware was up here at the tabs. Now in the newer version of Vestool, it's down here in Update Firmware. So here you're going to pick V3 and then you're going to go over to Boot uh, Archive. And if there's nothing like you see now, you're going to hit update archive and it's going to go through a little bit of a download so we're just going to fast forward through here on the edit okay the download is done now you're going to pick your firmware version you're going to go to 6.05 and then you're going to hit upload you're about to upload a new firmware connected device. If you wanna make sure you hit cancel, make sure your boot letters are generic. Included is the this one here, okay? This may change in the future. I think it says like ADV 200 for some people or ADV 500 maybe in the future uh, one, but yeah. So right now for current is what we have. 6.05 and we're going to hit upload. Keep it close to your board. Make sure your phone doesn't go black and then we'll fast forward through this. Okay, the firmware upload is done. Device should reboot in 10 seconds. We're going to leave it here for 10 seconds, still close to the controller, the front of the board. My board just did a beeping sound. So we're gonna close, it's closed. I'm gonna rescan to make sure the board shows up. And there it is. We're gonna connect. Now I'm gonna let everything load up here. On this situation, it's not gonna come up with the app UI because when you update firmware, it removes the package. So we we'll just clicked on the firmware section here and we're looking, we're at 6.05, okay? Now we're going to go to packages. Oh, it's down here now in the new one. at the Before it was at the top. Now it's in the main screen under start, under package store. We're gonna update archive. All right, and now you can see the reflow package here at the bottom. We're going to hit install. This may take a minute. Okay, install package is done. Please disconnect and reconnect to apply the app UI. So we're going to close and we are going to disconnect. Scan again just to make sure and connect. All right, and now we wait. That app UI should come up at the top and there it is. So now you can see your refloat package. So there's my board. 
but if I'm correct, it won't have any of the things it had before. So this is all the default. So what we need to do, and the reason we did a backup earlier is for this. So now we're back at the start. Everything is up, App UI is on. We're gonna hit restore configs. We're gonna hit okay. It said something I should have, I didn't get to read it all, but it says the restoration was successful. <clears throat> so we're gonna just double check because it did say something about motor configs. Current, okay, we are good for that. Oh, uh, voltage. See, my field weakening is still correct. Okay, so everything is correct there. Oh, and then we, oh yeah, uh, refloat is right here. Specs, and everything is back to normal. Okay. So now that everything is back to normal, I just like to hit right one more time, just to make sure. I wouldn't back up yet because it does look like everything is back to normal. But if for some reason it doesn't work, you have a backup if you need to go back to 6.02. So go out, test your board. If everything is good, then hit backup again. And then you have a backup in the new firmware. That's everything you need to do to update to 6.05 with the new features and to update the reflow package if you hadn't already done that. All right, thanks.